Demonstrators around the world are demanding faster action from their governments to combat climate change. Protesters called for tangible solutions during a march outside of the U.N. climate summit Saturday. World leaders have been working for the past week to accelerate their plans to tackle the problem. But many demonstrators say a promise just isn't good enough. CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi has more from Glasgow, Scotland. These protesters have managed to create a festive atmosphere despite the rain. They want their calls for more action on climate change to be heard by world leaders meeting a few blocks from here at the UN Climate Summit. Many tell us they've already been living with the disastrous effects of global warming, whether it's droughts, wildfires, or smog. In the past week at COP26, several governments have pledged to curb deforestation and carbon and methane emissions. But many protesters here say they've seen similar promises broken before and that countries and companies Companies must do more, faster, to protect the world they're inheriting. We asked John Kerry, who's at the talks negotiating on behalf of President Biden, what message he has for them. I respect their worry completely, and they have every reason in the world to be angry and frustrated. I'm frustrated. I have my own reservations about some promises that get made, but, but what is happening here is different. This is a different cop. And I sense a much greater sense of urgency from companies, from NGOs, Everybody involved here understands this is for real and we've got to get this done. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, who's inspired a lot of young people here to protest, has called the UN Climate Summit a PR exercise. More than 200 events like this one are taking place across the world today. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Glasgow, Scotland.